Why do boats float? Boats float because they are less dense than the water displaced by their hull. If we were to measure the amount of water displaced by the boat, it would equal the mass of the boat. This is known as Archimedes' principle. Archimedes' principle indicates that the upward buoyant force that is exerted on a body immersed in a fluid, whether fully or partially submerged, is equal to the weight of the fluid that the body displaces. To prove this, I have created a simple experiment. We'll be putting clay into a cup filled with water to the brim. This cup has a straw that allows excess water to run out of it. We will first drop the clay in as a ball, then we will drop the clay in as a bubble of air. We will measure the weight difference of the cup of water with clay and the amount of water that runs out of the straw. So first, let's get the weight of the clay. When weighed on a scale, the clay weighs the same as 23 milliliters of water, or in other words, 23 grams. Note, the clay is denser than water. Now let's drop the ball of clay into the water. But first, let's make a prediction. Will the cup of water weigh more, less, or the same after the ball is dropped into the water and the water is left to drain out of the straw? So after dropping the clay ball in the water, the scale goes up to plus 3 milliliters, 3 grams. This must mean that the ball is exerting a force on the bottom of the cup of 3 grams. The amount of water displaced must equal 20 grams. If we look at the graduated cylinder, we find that 20 milliliters, or 20 grams of water, have been displaced by the ball of clay. The buoyant force of the clay ball is equal to 20 grams. If we take the 3 grams of force exerted by the ball on the scale, and the 20 milliliters, or 20 grams of buoyant force, we get a total weight of the clay ball of 23 grams. To finish off this experiment, let's make the clay ball into a bubble. This will cause the clay to float in the water. Make a prediction, will the scale weigh more, less, or the same? Once we drop the bubble of clay into the water, the scale goes to zero. This means that the mass of water displaced by the bubble of clay is the same as the mass of the clay. Looking at the graduated cylinder runoff, we notice that about 23 milliliters of water got displaced by the clay bubble. Going back to our first slide, this means that the mass of water displaced by the clay bubble is the same as the mass of the clay. The buoyant force equals the weight of the clay of 23 grams. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. Feel free to comment requesting a topic for future videos below.